The transfer window is about to close as clubs make their final adjustments to the squads that will take them through until the end of the season. They have until 2300 hours GMT on Monday to sign up or ship out players they will count on between then and May, so who will be the big targets and will the deals go through? Omar Nias, Lokomotiv Moscow Everton's problems under Roberto Martinez have been in defense this season, but with his attacking resources depleted by the £8.5 million sale of Stephen Naismith to Norwich City and the failure of Aidan McGetty to make an impact, buying a striker is also under consideration. How much will he cost? £13.5 million a player with pace who has scored 12 times in 21 league games this season, Nias would provide much needed backup for Romelu Lukaku, who has been carrying a heavy burden this season. Everton have been looking to make a big signing during this transfer window, and with Dynamo Kiev Sandri Yarmolenko out of reach this looks like the one they will be pushing for on deadline day. Expensive for a player with no Premier League experience. Matthew DiBucci, Arsenal, the 30-year-old France right-back has fallen down the pecking order and been troubled by injury during his time at Arsenal following a £10 million move from Newcastle United in 2014. DiBucci has made only two Premier League appearances this season, so it makes perfect sense for him to move on. How much will he cost? Initial loan. Aston Villa manager Remy Gard is hoping to clinch a deal that will allow his fellow countrymen to add experience at the highest level to a side currently looking certainties for relegation. Sunderland boss Sam Allardyce may be tempted into a late move but Gard will know the player and is currently in pole position. There's a strong expectation Dibucci will go before the deadline, with Villa currently favourites. Andriy Yarmolenko, Dynamo Kiev, a player of proven quality who has been the talisman for Dynamo Kiev in their qualification for the last 16 of the Champions League, where they meet Manchester City. Now looks ready to finally cut his ties with Ukraine, where he is also a key figure for the national side with 22 goals in 55 games. How much will he cost? £25 million a gifted, powerful all-purpose attacker. Wonderful left foot and can operate on both wings and also as a number 10. Trademark has been to cut in from the right and score, as Everton found to their cost in last season's 5-2 thrashing in the Europe League in Kiev. Everton boss Martinez has had the player in his sight since then and would use him in the number 10 role. If Arsenal pursue their interest you would imagine his versatility would be ideal there. Don't see this unless something very dramatic happens, more likely to happen in the summer. Dynamo Kiev simply blocked Everton when they tried to do a deal in August, and it's hard to see why they would sell now with that Champions League meeting with Manchester City coming up. Dwight Gale, Crystal Palace, the perceived striker is not part of manager Alan Pardew's plans at Crystal Palace this season and has yet to score in the Premier League in the current campaign, but Gale got 10 in 29 appearances last season and the 26-year-old might just benefit from a change of scenery. How much will he cost? £7 million Swansea have been forced to look at strikers, because Bafatim Bugama's form has faded after a bright start and he would be an energetic partner for Andre Ayew. There is a deal to be done there, and if Swansea come up with a good offer then do not see Palace resisting too hard on this one. Bafatim Bugamas, Swansea City, struggled to deliver this season with just five goals and 21 Premier League games and his potential partnership with Andre Ayew has not worked, although the latter has done well. Swansea may be tempted to cash in. How much will he cost? £7 million Newcastle United are looking to bring in a striker before the deadline to give them an added dimension, on his day Gomez is a powerful, formidable figure. Just that those days are getting fewer and fewer lately. Newcastle are working through a list that also includes Sado Berahino, Loic Remy and Sadu Dombia. Manager Steve McLaren is understood to want two strikers so Gomez could be a fallback option. Danny Rose, Tottenham Hotspur, Manchester United manager Louis van Gaal is short of defensive resources with the likes of Marco Rojo out injured and first choice left back Luke Shaw long-term absentee as he recovers from a broken leg. 
Rose is not currently Spurs manager Mauricio Pochettino's preferred option, with Ben Davies at left back. How much will he cost? £6 million will fit on the left side of United's defence, where Van Gaal is struggling for experienced personnel. Long shot but United are desperate for full backs. Spurs will not be keen on dealing with a direct rival in this instance, but could just get a late deadline day phone call. United have reportedly watched Rose four times recently. Ben Chilwell, Leicester City The 19-year-old left-back has barely figured for Leicester but his performances in England's youth teams have marked him out as an almost certain future international. How much will he cost? £5 million win for the future. He has also been linked with Liverpool but Arsenal are trying to get in first for a player who could emerge as a threat to Nacho Monreal and England defender Kieran Gibbs. Leicester want Chilwell to sign a new contract at the King Power Stadium and stay at a club on the up. Would take a special offer from Arsenal, or indeed anyone else, to persuade the Foxes otherwise.